Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Study Materials. Today we are going to discuss about the optical comparators such as Zeiss Ultra Optimeter and Zeiss Opto Test Optimeter. So let's get into this video. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up button and also subscribe this channel and share this video to your friends to gain knowledge. The constructions of the optical optimeter are plunger, pivot, lever, mirror, projection lens, index, conductor and light source. In optical comparators, small displacement of the measuring plunger are amplified by a mechanical system consisting of pivoted levers. The amplified mechanical movement is further amplified by a simple optical system involving projection of an image. The usual arrangement employed is such that the mechanical system causes a plane reflector to tilt uh, about an axis and the image of an index is projected on a scale on the inner surface of the ground glass screen. Optical magnification provides high degree of measuring precision due to reduction of moving members and better wear resistant qualifies. Optical magnification is also free from friction, bending, wear etc. This is the diagram showing the optical comparator a light source falls on the conductor and to the index and projecting lens and the mirror a small displacement can be detected from this optical comparator these are the details of the optical comparator Zeiss Ultra Optimeter the Zeiss Ultra Optimeter consists of eyepiece, graticule, objective lens, mirrors, green filter and lamp. The optical system of this instrument involves double reflection of light and thus gives high degree of magnification. A lamp sends light rays to green filter which filters all but green light which is less fatigue to the eye. The green filter then passes through a condenser via an index mark projects it on to a movable mirror M1 and it is reflected to another fixed mirror M2 and then back again to the first movable mirror. The second objective lens brings the reflected beam of light from the first mirror to focus uh, at a transparent graticule containing a precise scale which is viewed by the eyepiece. The projected image of a index line on the graticule can be adjusted by means of a screw in order to set the zero. When correctly adjusted, the image of the index line is seen against that of the graticule. This is the description showing the Zeiss Ultra Optimeter. Then Zeiss Opto Test Comparator. It consists of a plunger, objective lens, prism, external mirror, light source, and index and reflected image can be viewed on the mirror. This is the commercial measuring instrument. This utilizes a plunger, tilted mirror, objective lens, prism and observing eyepiece to provide a high degree of magnification. The mirror is mounted on a knife edge and it can be tilted about the fulcrum uh, by any linear vertical movement of the contact plunger. A beam of light passes through a graticule suitably engraved with a linear scale and the movement of the mirror causes this scale to move up 
are down past a translucent screen inside the observing hood of the instrument. The eye placed near the eyepiece a fine reference or index is provided and the system of lenses is arranged that the image of the scale is projected in the same focal plane. Thus with the movement of the scale the image can be measured with reference to the fixed line. The division of the scale image opposite to the index line indicates the amount of movement of contact plunger. The image of the scale can be measured with reference to the fixed line. The division of the scale image opposite to the index line indicates the amount of movement of contact plunger. The image of the scale and index line could also be viewed through a projection system. The overall image uh, of the magnification of the cam comparator is given by 2f by d. 2f by d into eyepiece magnification where f is the focal length of the lens and d is the distance between knife edge and plunger. So this is a short video about Zeiss optical comparator and Zeiss opto test comparator. So if you like this video please click the thumbs up button and also click the subscribe button and share this video to your friends to gain knowledge. So thank you for watching.